Hi guys, so you guys did some amazing looking beetles last week. Um, I was so impressed. I peeked in the classroom and saw them. And um, this week, we're going to keep on the theme of insects and we're going to make a big butterfly. So I'm going to give you a big piece of paper and I want you to try to fill up the entire paper with your butterfly. So first we're going to draw it using um, black crayon and we'll do all the black lines and then we're going to color it in using these which are called tempera sticks. They're kind of like paint and you can mix many shades and colors together and make your butterfly kind of look like it's shining and shimmering. So let me show you how I did the black crayon drawing and then you can do your black crayon drawing. Okay, so let's draw this butterfly. I'm gonna start right in the middle of the page and I'm gonna draw the body of the butterfly, which is pretty similar to any insect. So we have the head, that's the top, and then the thorax, and then the abdomen is the big part on the bottom. So I just kind of drew that. And now I'm gonna draw the top lines of the wings. So I'll do one side and then right after I do the other because remember your hands remember um, what line they just made. So every line I make, I'm gonna do it on one side and then as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna do it on the other side. Give it some antennas. And now that I've done the big shapes, I'm gonna go in and do the pattern. So I'll look at my picture observe the pattern and I'm going to try and describe that pattern as best as I can with my crayon. Of course it doesn't have to look exactly like it. These are drawings so we don't need drawings to be perfect because we have photographs for that. Drawings um, should look like a hand made them. So I'm just going to look at my picture, notice things about it, and then describe those things that I notice by drawing them. So I try to remember to do things on one side and then the other so I can get it as similar on both sides as possible, but not perfect. Not, I'm, I'm not counting the dots, I'm just putting some white dots, fitting them in as best as I can kind of trying to observe how they look, what size they are, and then describing them using my crayon and my lines of my drawing. And now I'll observe some of the dark, darkest areas on the body. Because I'm noticing it's kind of gray, it's not all black. So I'm only gonna color in the really dark areas. And um, I'll leave the lighter areas light and now I have to do the work of coloring in all the black areas. My butterfly has a lot of black areas so obviously this video is sped up didn't didn't go this fast um, and I'm just coloring in all the black areas before I go in with color. So this is black with the end of my crayon and I'm going to use the side of my crayon to make the body kind of grayish. Okay, now it's time to color. And we have these really vibrant um, colored paint sticks that we can use to make really bright colors and they also blend together really nicely. So if you look at your butterfly, 
Um, you won't just see one color in the wings. You'll see a little bit of yellow here, a little bit of orange here. And what I'm doing here is I'm just looking and seeing where do I see um, lighter orange? Where do I see darker orange? And where do I see yellow? And I'm just putting that in. And then if I color, say, my yellow on top of the orange, they kind of blend together beautifully. And your butterfly gets this kind of shimmery look. So let's continue with that. Just look at the wings and see um, where, what colors do you see? Where do you see them? Um, put them down and then when you get the next color, color it over the top of that color a little bit. So it kind of blends together. You can create these many colored wings. What can I do to make you happy? What kind of clown thing can I do? Wiggle my ears and make them flappy My humor is savvy, won't you sit on my lappy and don't Cry, baby, boo, boo. Don't 
Tigers and pink money. 